D'Amico Williams calls himself a community advocate. He runs a group called Hydrate Detroit, which helps people when their water's been shut off. You have 45,000 people that are on payment plans, 9,000 people shut off, and there is no room for amnesty. There's no room for even modification of some of these outrageous, outstanding bills. Earlier this week, he was on the road across Detroit meeting his clients, people trying to get their water turned back on. Everything is done by a system of giving. We reach out to social media. We reach out to our friends, our family, our neighbors to see what they can do to help. When you work off $200 a month, what can you do? Deshaun Adams lives on the east side. She lost her water a week ago. My new bill just came in. It's over $900 at this point. We'll go to the 106 mile and see what happens. Yeah, that's what they told me. This right, because I had already called about you and they were supposed to um, mark it in the computer. When I called the lady today, I wasn't able to get in touch with her. The bill just built up, built up, built up. Searching for employment, but I'm limited to what I can do because of my physical limitations. I have multiple health problems. For me, the main one is having to sleep with a CPAP machine that does not operate without water. This water shutoff can make or break a person. When the tap runs dry, uh, you're wondering, what, how can you get water? You know, you're panicking. You're in a state of shock. You don't know what the hell to do. And basically, uh, Ms. Adams stayed as calm as anybody I've seen in this condition. Charlotte Woods bought her home on the far west side on the other side of Telegraph Road a few years ago. She works full-time at an auto parts manufacturer. She's also a single mother with four kids. Her water was shut off two months ago. She says she can probably handle reasonable water bill payments, but not a bill adding up to thousands. Wow. Yes, this wow. <laughs> what in the world? Yeah. What happened here? There is a out that's on the other side of this house. Okay. And I was unaware that was there. I didn't know it was there. As, and I've been here about what, maybe ever since four, I bought the house in March of 14. Uh -huh. And I didn't know that there was a spigot on the other side. The only way I found out was that the next door neighbor was like, did you know that there was water running? This water right here will probably last me for about four days. For about, four. well, this part of it will last me no more than about like a day and a half. But this, because they do, they're they very good about drinking water, they just drink one or two a day. I'm just worried, uh, first of all, just uh, about the kids. That's my biggest concern is the kids. Um, you know, brushing their teeth. You know, it's a you know, good water to brush their teeth with, wash their face, to take towel baths with. Because of my water situation, I keep plenty of Clorox on hand for the bathroom, for the kitchen, um, to clean other things. So until we get the water back on. Yeah, I'm gonna have to talk with my part, with my team about this and see what we can do. Um, Cause $9,000 is, it is, we can get this knocked down. Mm -hmm. We can get this knocked down. D'Amico Williams in Hydrate Detroit can only help a few clients at a time. But Williams wants more people to know there are some outside agencies like his that are here to help. It could happen to anybody, but we're not talking. And when you don't talk, people don't know. And if people don't know, how could people help you?